what's going on everyone in today's video we'll explore how to send a message to a discord channel using python and the request library we won't be utilizing any official tools from discord everything will be handled manually and it's quite straightforward as you can see i'm currently in the discord channel that i created specifically for this video and let's assume at this moment i have absolutely no understanding of how to send messages to this channel using a python script However, I can quickly determine how the requests are made when a message is sent to this channel. And from that, I will gain enough insight into how I can send a message using Python script. So let's do that. In order for us to see the requests that are being sent when a message is being sent to this channel, we'll right click and inspect this web page and we'll go to the networks tab. In here, let's start by sending a message. Let's say hello and send it to this Discord channel. You can see as soon as I send a message, uh, some requests were being sent to the discord server first one is this typing and second one is this messages but i'm interested in this one so let's click on it and here you can see a lot of information enough for us to uh, use and send a request uh, using a python script the first thing that caught my eye is this url so this is the url where this message was posted you can see this request is actually a post request so the data that we sent or a message that we sent was posted to this url so these are the two important pieces of information number one is the url the second one is the http method which is post let's go to the request tab now and here you can see the payload that was sent uh, along with this request uh, what i'm interested in is this content because this is the actual message that was sent so let's keep that in mind as well and if we go back to the headers, let's close the response headers, go to this request headers. Here you will see a lot of headers are also being sent along with this request. But what caught my eye is this authorization header. This is actually the Discord token. So let's keep this thing in mind as well. And this information is enough for us to use a request library to send a message to this Discord channel. And let's do that. So here I'm in the Visual Studio code. I have created a file named discord-message.py and I'm going to import requests. And then I'm going to define a variable called URL and then go back and grab the URL from here. So this is the URL. Let's just copy it. Go back and paste it right here, just like this. And now let's send a request for response equals to requests dot post and let's just pass in the url as a param right here just like this let's go back and uh, we need to go to this request tab and you can see that uh, uh, the payload that is being sent is all of this stuff but we are only interested in this content part so let's create a python dictionary and name it payload equals to content and inside this content we are going to pass in the message that we want to send so let's say hello world we also need the headers so let's create a headers dictionary and in here we need only one header which is the authorization and let's just grab the header from here which is right here in the requests headers so just click on the header right click and copy value go back and paste the value right here just like this now let's just pass the payload and the headers equals to headers that's it so this is everything that we need in order to send a message to a discord channel how how easy is that so let's just save this file and i'm going to minimize this window and bring the browser and this uh, side to side i'm also going to close the networks tab and let's just try to run the script so if i run the script you can see as soon as the script ran we got a message hello world so yeah this thing worked let's try something else let's say subscribe save the file run it again you can see we got a message subscribe now that the discord channel and our automation is telling you to subscribe to my channel you can't ignore that message go ahead and smash that subscribe button now if you want to use this code to send messages to any discord channel let's use another channel let's create a new channel let's name it testing to and in order for us to copy the channel id what we need to do is we need to go to this cog sign and and scroll down until you see this app settings and here you can see the advanced option click on this and you need to toggle this developer mode on now if you go back click on this channel right click on this channel you can see this option copy channel id let's just copy it from here and go back to our code and let's just paste the channel id right here and let's run the code again you can see in our testing too we also have this message saying subscribe so now you have two discord channels telling you to subscribe to my channel smash that subscribe button 
And yeah, this is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.